Hey, guess what? This is actually future me from the end of the day, coming in at the beginning of the day to say hello and welcome to the vlog because I didn't actually really kind of say hello and welcome to the vlog. I just kind of went straight in with it with planner stuff. So, I mean, that's good, right? Planner stuff, but kind of feels a bit weird just going straight in with planner stuff and not kind of like introducing the vlog. So there we go. Here we go. Now here is the vlog. I'm actually supposed to be working and I'm at my desk to be fair um, I had my inserts come um, for my planner and then I sort of thought oh I haven't got bits and bobs for my planner so this is what I'm currently doing I am making a divider as you can see I've used a tab sorry about the shadow got the lights on it's just a bit of, bit of a crappy I might turn them off actually see if it makes any difference it's in your viewing <laughs> no shadow so yeah I'm just um setting up my planner um as I said and I decided that I wanted a divider just to divide up um my planner um yeah <laughs> sometimes you can't always think of the words um so I kind of rummaged around in my scraps box I have a scraps box for like when printing and cutting and the shop goes wrong when I say mine I mean John because I don't do any of the printing and cutting for the shop um, so I've got this paper um, with the pencils on and this tab with the confetti sprinkles um, and a couple of die cuts and I'm just layering it up with some with some washi tape just to kind of make it look a bit cute and eclectic that's what I want to go for eclectic gluing up super fine stuff like these like um words i really recommend this um this is from trim craft it's their dot and dab range dot and dab the ultimate glue pen precision nib of a detailed application and it has look at that it's just like using a pen so you can see against my um nail there my finger my scruffy finger it's quite a thin die cut so perfect this is absolutely perfect for that. Oh, and a grubby finger. Oh, my nails are terrible. I need a manicure now. So I did do a vlog about this um, ages ago now. I can't remember when, but I discussed that I was going to be going back into um, rings for 2020 and I still hold by that. So I am going to be moving into the Filofax Personal Original in Kingfisher. I was actually given this... Um, a while ago a couple of years ago by Filofax to do an unboxing and a review on my channel and I loved it but I did was at the time I was like super duper into travelers notebooks so it's just sat in the cupboard for a little while and the yeah, this year I am now moving back into into rings so it's coming out um I didn't print my own inserts um I perhaps could have done now but the reason I didn't and I bought some I actually bought some from simply plan designs um the reason I bought some is because at the time I was like I was thinking of setting this up we were really busy with like all the Black Friday sales and everything and the, our printer was just like completely tied up and I wanted inserts um, and so I was a bit impatient so I bought some. Um, so I've got a pack, I need to open these up and pop them in so I'll, I'll do that in a bit off camera and I'll show you what they look like once they're in. Um, I, this is my finished laminated um, a divider. So yeah, as you can see I just layered up stickers and die cuts and and stuff it is thick it might not last very long because sometimes the laminate kind of comes away when it's thick but I don't mind it will serve its purpose for a while I'm not expecting this to have like massively heavy use um, and as I said this is all stuff like out of my bits box <laughs> um, and then um, made a page marker and I've already got in um, a dashboard this was from my um, hey girl collection that I did in September and so yeah I'm just gonna like whack my bits in oh doorbell oh that was Amazon and I had to do the mad dash because you know what Amazon are like they <laughs> ding the donger and run away um so yeah this in and this is what the inserts um look like I used to always use vertical and then one day I changed to boxes and since I've been boxes I haven't looked back. <laughs> 
um, I have realised that I do need to remake a page marker because I punched the holes wrong, they don't line up, so that's a complete pain in the butt. So I probably won't do <laughs> I am supposed to be working. Um, so I'll probably do that another day. I also want to cut the laminate plastic off of that. Um, I'll do that another day when the laminator's back on for whatever, so... Yeah, that's how my planner for 2020 shaping. Oh, yeah, so the reason for this divider is I'm just going to shove um, some paper. I had a load of paper that came in with the, the planner um, for, like, notes and to-dos and everything. So that's just going to be, like, shoved in. Last week's studio vlog has now been edited and I'm currently uploading. But, you know, only a week late, but, you know, you can't win them all, eh? It's hard sometimes, like, juggling all the things. <laughs> like, I enjoy vlogging, um, but I do sometimes forget to pick up the camera. Or I'm, like, I'm picking up the camera. And then, like, last week, I just kind of, like, fizzled out as I started to get tired and um, and that kind of thing. So I then kind of just, like, forgot about it. And then I haven't actually done any work um, this week of an evening. Like, sometimes, some weeks, I work in the um, in the evenings. But I haven't done this week because... Well, it's Christmas and um, I've been doing other things like I did a bit of wrapping one evening and um, of course I've had been having to watch Kirsty's Handmade Christmas because I love that show. I've um, been watching that every night and doing my December daily album. Last night I had to go out and vote and so it's like evenings are just like whizzing by at the moment. Um, so yeah. So today, it's my first day working since last week. So that's why the video's got edited. Um, I'm really hot today. I think the heating's like whacked up, so I'm in a vest. Um, just written a to-do list. It's very high tech, as you can see. It's on an envelope. Um, I'm pretty sure like some people think because <laughs> um, I sort of talk about like stationary things and planners and stuff uh, that people think that I'm a lot more like use a lot more cute stationery and I'm kind of with it and things. Truth is I actually use whatever is on hand and in the mind of being environmentally friendly and eco I'm giving this envelope a new lease of life so I have my to-do list on there. <laughs> So I need to start finishing or working more on the collection that I started drawing in last week's video. I did um, manage to draw, like to ink everything up and photograph it and get it into the computer and I have coloured it in and so I thought I would show you the colour palette. Here we go, so it's a rough look at the colour palette. I was kind of drawing, trying to draw on like soothing, calming colours. And this is what they look like once that 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 palette kind of translate into um, the illustrations like that. So yeah, I need to now work on actually. So all the illustrations are all coloured and all ready to go. So I've got my um, to do list, and I now need to like start making the, the stuff. So I'll put all the illustrations together on one sheet. That will be my sticker one. That's my illustration stickers. And I will need to, like for my papers, I'll need to think about what elements I want to use for my papers and make a recurring pattern and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to whack on some Christmas music because it's Christmas. Um, my tummy's rumbling. Like, my tummy is seriously rumbling. It's 12 o'clock and I'm hungry. Um, I started work a lot later today because um, John just needs to finish off some orders. Um we're all up to date on orders which is brilliant so um that's good we hate we hate being we're not behind on orders it's just been really busy which is great um so yeah john worked a bit this morning and so i started work late um but yeah i'm hung i'm hungry 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 so john's cooking dinner downstairs i don't know what he's cooking but i'm trying to like concentrate on working and not on my rumbly tummy because my tummy's really rumbly i might actually go downstairs and see what he's making and see how long it's going to be because if it's going to be like an hour i might have to have a snack because i am like proper hungry and i can't concentrate if i'm hungry and to be fair um i also need a cup of tea yeah i'm gonna go downstairs yeah he's cooking paella and it's paella 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 a vegetarian one, a vegan one, actually, and it's gonna be a while. So I snuck some of these. Don't tell him. 
I'm not eating the whole bag. There's only a few in there left over from the other day. It will not ruin my dinner. I am that hungry. I will give that justice as well. So, yeah, I will eat some Doritos. I might not. I won't eat them all. I will eat some Doritos, and I will also eat all my dinner too. So I'm not doing too badly. I'm not doing amazing. Sometimes it takes a while to kind of get into into the flow, man. So I have done sticker one, two papers vellum so yeah using these sparkly highlighters again the green one i don't think i've shown you the green one. Oh, look at the glitter you know, pen, put the actual pen down there's a little glitter 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 oh look at it oh yes hello glitter a little bit of glitter makes your day a little bit more exciting i find this i need to move that and explain Nearly gave it away. So every year, um, itchy chin, 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 um, December, January time, I usually do a video about my word for the year. I've done it a few years now, um, and I very often like to set set a word for the year, the the year. Set so a word for the year. Um, it's kind of like my intentions and all that jazz like an ethos to live by and um i i don't force the issue like i don't kind of sit there and be like come on come on i need to think of a word i need to think of a word i hadn't actually gave it too much thought actually and then um i when i was uploading my video um i kind of clicked onto youtube and for some reason um recommended to me was a word of for the year video and i was like oh i haven't set myself one for the year and I was like oh okay you know whatever because I don't tend to come to me like the words um the words kind of come naturally or organically and they don't always tend to come to me until um it's ready kind of thing you know I don't and um, I was at the other day and I uh, thought not the other day today oh. I was just sort of sat there and all of a sudden a word came to me I didn't want to spoil it, so I've moved it. If you've seen the word, then that's fine. Um, but I didn't want to spoil it by you knowing what the word is for me to then do a video. Because you'll be like, I know about it. So, yeah. Going okay. It's going okay. I'll show you the sticker sheet I've done. You can see, like, all the illustrations together. This is the sticker sheet. Boom. And, yeah, I've done the two the papers and the vellum and stuff. So... Yeah, got to get a rocking and a rolling, and I want to try and finish most of the things today if I can. Super conscious that we're already midway through December, and these go out on like the 2nd or 3rd of December. I can't remember when we next get post again. Um, so like the set of December, January, the 2nd or 3rd of January it goes out again. Um, but John's day job, um, he has like shut down over Christmas. He like finishes on the day before Christmas Eve. Um and doesn't go back again until like the second or third whenever like the next working day is i don't know i probably should look in that planner that i just set up um and so i really 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 would like him to have like a good break some time off um because his day job has actually been really busy the last couple of months which is really good because sometimes things are touch and go um, so yeah, his day job has been really, really busy and um, we've been really brim busy with Brimble stuff as well, which is really grateful for because if I'm honest, the beginning of the year, like the first third of the year was absolutely dire for us on our Brimble's front. Um, so that's why John um, upped his hours. He used to work less hours at his day job. Um, so yeah, so we're really lucky that that sort of picked up and stuff so he's been busy with that so he's been juggling the two so he's been a busy bee and i'd like him to have like a good rest over the christmas period um and hopefully not work at all like if possible so um yeah so i'm trying to i want to get this stuff done so that he can print and cut everything for the boxes before christmas break so he can have a christmas break that's the that's the plan um, so yeah, I need to juggle it. I I do help occasionally, but the silhouette and I, we do not get on. I, I don't know what it is. It hates me. It hates me. Technology in general kind of hates me, to be honest. So, you know, so my job is all the designing stuff, all the admin stuff, the 
housework. I look after the house and also the child. <laughs> so um, it, it feels like a fair division of labour. And somehow we still managed to see spend time with each other. I don't know how. Um, mm -hmm. So cracksy on, crack on. More Christmas tunes got to that point in the day where the slippers have come on. My slippers are so cool. Look, I'll see if I can get them to do it. Oh, they're old now, so they don't always do it. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit old now. John bought them. So I end up kicking myself. John bought them for me last Christmas, I think it was, and I've worn them a lot. It's also really dark here now, so we have to have the lights on, so it's super shadowy. These things are actually stickers that are permanently, seem to be permanently stuck to my floor. Look at our floor. There's an advent sticker there. Um, if I was cleaner, <laughs> I would probably pick them up. Also, in the background, you've probably heard the printer going. Um, printing out this was one of the repeating patterns um, that I made. This is um, little snowballs. Um, so yeah, printing out it's done. Um, and because like the most time-consuming thing of the collection is actually printing out the papers, it ties up the printer so much, like like, like crazy. Um, so because. I've done them I thought let's just get them printed um, and they can just be printing behind the scenes as it were they can just be doing their they can just be printing out and doing their thing while I'm still designing and doing my thing just stood up to move back to my desk and look I can see like one of the neighbors diagonally opposite me have got their Christmas tree in the window and their windows open so that was like a really nice festive sight for me look, it's really dark out there now the street lights come on, silhouette of the of the trees. That's actually like quite fitting with the collection I'm working on, the whole aspect of hygge and like snuggling down and all that kind of stuff. So that's quite that was quite nice for me to see the Christmas lights. Christmas lights and like the bluey sky. That's quite nice. I'm uh, still drinking tea. Changed my mug. I've got caught my nail then. I've split my nail and I just caught it in my hair. Uh, today's change of mug. I don't know why I changed from my Polar Express. I think I've left it somewhere and John bought me up a cup of tea. <laughs> Little foxy mug and his wintry scarf. So yeah, must crack on because I feel like I feel like I'm running out of steam now. I hate that when it gets to this part of the day where I have to kind of like keep forcing myself to carry on and I just want to like stop. I think my dark, darker evenings do that. I do like hygge and winter time and snuggling down, but only at the weekend. <laughs> no, not only at the weekend, like all the time, but you know what I mean? Like when you can actually think, right, I'm going to enjoy this and embrace it now and just get my cozy on, get my cozy going. When you like have to work, we have to go out somewhere. Last night I had to go out to vote, as I said, and it was dark, it was cold, it was raining a lot, and I was like, hmm, I could just sit here right now and put my pajamas on. But um, no, I went out and did it because it was important, and um, I could have just happily, if it was if it was any other day and something that I didn't have to do then I would quite happily just put my pajamas on. Um, yeah, anyway, I've got to get back to it. I'm just procrastinating, talking to you. Not that I don't enjoy talking to you. I just need to do some work. Right then, my dears. I kind of feel like I've run out of steam. It's like five o'clock, but I just feel like I've run out of steam now. So probably gonna call it a day. Gonna go and have some crumpets for tea. Then little un, little little, 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 little little one will go to bed, and then I think me and John are gonna do some Christmas wrapping. I think, which I'm quite excited about. So, yeah. thank you for watching and hanging out with me today, and having just a bit of a chilled out kind of studio vlog. Bye, guys. <laughs>